is up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is a t you can call me tia or sunny whichever one you like girlfriend so i decided since we are stuck in the house to just give my hair some shape and i tried a new style that i haven't tried in years literally years so this is a before when i just washed my hair put some of this little curly cream on and let it air dry and then this is the after i did bantu knots and it came out pretty good so if you want to see what i did then let's just go ahead and get started so i already put my hair up this is like my curls in its natural state i did like a wash and go type situation i can never really get a definition with my wash and goes because my hair frizzes up so easily that's why i always put it in like a bantu knot twist out something like that so i'm going to shake my hair give my hair some bangs and let's just go ahead and do it so one thing that i definitely learned when cutting my hair curly is to not stretch it out like i don't know what i was thinking i realized it after i was like halfway through which is a great time to realize it but when you stretch the curl out your curls go back like it's not going to stay straight like that so i was girl girl just don't do that you know this is just trial and error i was trying something different usually i'll just trim my hair but i'll um blow dry it instead to see like the split ends and stuff um and i did end up doing that because doing a diva cut is harder than it looks okay it's it's really hard actually so the next time i trim i'll probably shape the top part and make it a little bit um give it some layers but for the bottom like the back of my hair i'm going to just trim it evenly across so that i can still keep that length you know what i mean um i'll probably insert a picture of what my goal like my shape goal my hair shape goal is um but be sure to follow me on instagram because i'm always going to post on there first now my hands are so red like bro what but i am finished blow drying my hair so let me show you guys how much i've cut so far but this is how much i cut so far girls and boys now it is time for the fun part hello we are about to do some bantu knots so i did uh blow dry my hair it wasn't the best blow dry i wasn't trying to get it super straight just kind of stretched out so this is my first time using a curling cream to do my knots instead of like an eco styler or some type of gel like that and i actually liked how it came out um, it left my hair really hydrated. It wasn't like crunchy or anything, which I liked. But I do want to find a gel that will keep it kind of hard. Not hard, but like like a middle, like a hard and soft. Once all this stuff is over that's going on right now, then I can go outside and look for, you know, a product that will work for me. But I'll just stick with my little curling cream for now. Also, I did secure my Bantu knots with the bobby pins after so that when I'm sleeping, you know, I'm a little, I'm a wild sleeper, okay? So I just didn't need it to come a loose and be crazy in the morning. So once you're finished twisting all of your hair and you bring it down towards the root, it actually starts to curl up on itself and you'll start to wrap it under that little uh curl super simple you just make sure you put enough product to saturate the hair so that it can hold the curl that the knot is going to create all right so i am finished with 
my Bantu knots. And I want to show you guys before I skip on to the next day of me taking it out and stuff, I want to show you guys how much hair. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Quarantine make you do some crazy things, huh? All right, so the next day I took some oil and went crazy, all right, with untwisting my hair. This part actually took way longer than making the knot. So if you have somewhere to be, make sure to start this process super early, all right? Because if you don't, you will be late. Personally, I don't mind a little frizz, so I was kind of making my hair a little frizzy by um, like using my fingers to bring the curls out even more. And then I also went in with my pick just at the roots to make the hair bigger and larger because I love me a big curly fro. Like it's just everything, everything to me, okay? feel like the pieces right here came out the best and I think that's because I made it kind of even like the bantu knot wasn't big it was kind of like medium but in the back I made them bigger and I feel like here it came out pretty good the only part that didn't really come out good was right there which is like the main part <laughs> but I do like it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, helpful. And hopefully, this video inspired you guys to do something with your hair. I'm just like over here feeling myself, okay? So, yeah. Subscribe and be a part of the gang. Also, like this video if you like these type of videos, like natural hair videos. Um, follow me on Instagram at naturally.sunny. And I'm on TikTok at naturally.sunny as well. So yeah. Follow me on there and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.